Hey everyone, we're back for some more Star Crawlers Beta 3 Cantacris Cat. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday, which is going to be more of the new team. As we do another random mission, and hopefully everyone will be gain a level, and then we'll try the new story mission and see what that's like together. So first of all, we're going to head off to the store to see if there's anything new for sale. And I do see this hammer. That's level 1 hammer. That's nowhere near as good as I think it's what 2 is using. It is not anywhere near as good. We have any SMGs? But they're all low level, aren't they? No, we're going to stick with the pistol. And the armor is not better. And this pistol is level 2. Less accurate. I'll keep what we've got. I don't really have enough cash to use the upgrade station yet either, so we'll catch you later, Calorie. Went over to the medical bay, and let's see what he has for sale. How much are these? 62? Let's take two small health kits with me. They're always useful because of their 20% max health, so they'll be useful in the future as well, which I kind of just said already. And let's see what's available for work. So we're not going to do the black box yet, because I don't feel like doing a orange mission, so we will instead do another normal. So let's do a... Oh, well, we're going to lose rep with Chimera. Chimera... Wow, I'm losing rep with all the companies I don't want to use rep... lose rep with. We could do an easy mission. Let's see... We get a few more bucks, a tiny bit more experience, and five rep with Chimera. I don't think the reps actually does anything at the moment. Okay, we'll do a... we'll do one of these two. Let's see... Gym Biotech has... Sure, we'll do this one. So, let's just infiltrate Chimera's offices and obtain two integrative biochips. Our team's heading out. We'll pretend that Luna has worked up this mission, didn't tell us what it was that we were going to do until we arrived. Okay. Let's start by seeing what's down here. So we're starting in some sort of cargo room? Wow, this is this is kind of a new room. This is massive. A locked door. We can't open that one. Well, must be where they're manufacturing the chips we're here to steal. At the right, ten bucks and Java Nova, fifteen. At this point in the game, we need to pick up everything we can get our hands on. I remember when those were, the data chips were at least worth a thousand bucks, not worth forty. <laughs> All right, so what is there to talk about? Let's think there gotta be some interesting things. So I can't think of a whole lot of Star Crawler stuff to talk about. So I don't know. Let's first off take this awesome plush blade and see if that's better for two. More accurate by 2%, slightly faster, less critical chance, but does more damage. This is an upgrade in almost every way. And you, sir? Hmm. I don't... Oh, I think you're a stun. Stuns them for as long as your weapon's TU cost. So we'll go ahead and actually give you this. Wow, and this does slightly less damage. Slightly less damage, less crit, and fires much faster with a much higher accuracy rating. I prefer the rifle normally, but you're going to get this pistol. Nothing else to interact with. So, let's think. So, I heard that YouTube is going to be adding paywalls, and that video content makers will be able to put something up there that forces you to subscribe to their channel to get uploads. That's right, to watch videos. Oh, hello. Floating bot. That's interesting. I would never do that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even imagine a lot of people will pay for that content unless it's extraordinarily fantastic. I've also heard it's going to be on a... Oh, I missed. I heard it's going to be on a per-channel basis, obviously, because each content uploader will be the one to, to do it. I wonder how that will work out for everyone. I use it, I guess. Well, I guess we'll find out, right? 
Does Twitch have anything like that? I'm not on Twitch, so I, I don't really... I don't really know. I've been... I've thought occasionally about maybe looking into Twitch, but I don't see how... I don't play often, I work and I get to bed early, so I wouldn't be ever online. I can't imagine people would actually be interested in watching what I do live anyway. And recording gives me an opportunity to try to fix mistakes that I'm making. Although, yes, on, if I'm recording live, oh, come on. There won't be any mistakes to make. I, I won't have any editing problems, which tend to happen a lot to me. Fence uh, again. Think of the people I'm subscribed to. I don't know. I don't know what I pay to watch someone's YouTube channel. I guess it depends upon. I guess it really depends, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I'm trying to formulate more thoughts on what I would pay for. So I tend to. I tend to describe to people who don't have a lot of subscribers. I especially am a fan of YouTube's, YouTube video game enthusiasts, Let's Players, and the like, who don't have a large following. For no other no real reason other than I'm a small YouTuber too. And I'll, I've often discovered some cool games from people who don't play a lot of mainstream games, as it were. I see him. He's gonna follow me down here if I go down there, so let's deal with this guy. This one guy. Oh, we'll just shoot this guy to death. Oh, or kick him to death. Like, three more fights, and we should have enough experience to level when we're done with this area. Junky shield, nothing over here. Not sure I'll take up that guy. Just there the... There's no... Again, these don't really do anything. They're only worth one credit, so I'm just going to go ahead and just scrap them as well. Lots of data chips here today. Ooh, wow, tons of data. This is awesome. We're stealing all the biotech stuff. There are a few people that I watch that I've been meaning to fund on Patreon. I guess if they put paywalls up, it'd be more convenient for me. Oh, nice try, Tripwire. Not today. I am a fan of paying people for the work they do. Hmm. I guess I have to think about it a lot more to figure out who's, you know, whose stuff I really want to pay for to watch. And of course, you know, it, I believe it's up to the the channel owner to decide whether or not they want to do that. I'm constantly amazed whether, I guess, not constantly, but I am pretty surprised at how long YouTube's been going offering free service. I mean, granted, you know, you get the commercials and advertisements that pop up, which everyone finds it's annoying and they're tired of even... They can't wait for the five seconds to pop up to skip <laughs> to see the commercial. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about that recently. I wonder, do, do you care about the commercials these days? We've got the internet, so if you want to find out something about anything, about a product, you can just go online to figure it out. You don't really need to go watch a commercial about the thing anymore. Which is to say that two's gonna constantly miss with his all, all his attacks. You don't need to. Oh God! <laughs> I don't need a commercial to inform me that something exists or why something is better than a, a competing product anymore. We've got. I've got the internet, so if I want to look up, let's say motherboards, I can go and read up on them. It's 82% chance to hit, isn't it? 82% chance? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted. But... I don't need to... I don't need to be, like... I, advertising. Does it, does it actually work anymore these days? 
I don't know. I, I don't think it does. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't say such things, right? Because it's what's paying for for free YouTube content. But now that everyone is online, I don't care about the commercials. If I want to go and look at, a, let's say, like when I was looking for a new car, I didn't pay attention to any of the car commercials I had seen ever before. I knew a car I had, I looked up more information about it, plus a few other cars I was interested in. I looked at a few pictures, and then I looked at the prices, and I looked at some, some reviews, and then I made my decision there. When I went to the car lot to pick up the car, I didn't need the salesman to describe anything. I had all the information right away. Like, I was already sold on the car itself. I just needed to, to make sure of a few miscellaneous things, such as the, you know, how much of the loan was, how much the loan was going to be and stuff of that nature. So, I, I see car commercials, and I don't care about awards. Like, these are just, I don't know, fluff to me. I don't care what, what wins what. And I say they work for video games. I don't pay attention to commercials. I don't pay attention to reviewers either. I'll go and watch a YouTube video on the game if I want to figure out what it's like. Oh no! Adult Clank alerts your team to the fact that SOMEONE just stepped squarely onto a concealed pressure plate, or a very obvious pressure plate just stepped on. Bertha rolls her eyes and shoots a dirty look at Tremis. You're a regular pro, aren't ya? Scooch over and let me take a look at that thing. Maybe can dismantle the trigger arm before you step up and blow us all to hell. Bertha hunkers down to floor level and examines the pressure plate. Jamming her pneumomatic wrench underneath to try to break the trigger arm. Bertha works on the pressure plate briefly before finally letting loose a stream of foul curses and delivering a mighty smack to the plate with her pneumomatic wrench. Step off! If you disarmed it didn't, hell if I know. Trimus cautiously steps off the pressure plate and a distinctive ping tells you the trigger has been tripped. Balls. Thankfully, I did not step into the room yet, but we have to go in there. Those are... Those... Those... Grey swarms are basically... Remember, you ever played the game... System Shock? Those are basically those... Those gnat... Those flying swarms. I'm just going to expect that kick to miss every, almost every single time. <laughs> Two is the new robot, only he doesn't have malfunction. Or rather, he is malfunctioned, apparently. 100%. This is so bad. I'm getting so annoyed. I shouldn't be so annoyed. Oh, oh that's right. We were talking about a advertising. So, like, soda commercials, for example. Are those even still a thing that are around? I have, I have not watched television in two years now. I don't. I, everything I want to watch is on, is on the internet. And when it comes to movies, I have, you know, Netflix, which is just, uh I only have streaming service? Oh, come on, one hit point left on this guy? <laughs> Kill it. Oh, or we won't. There we go. Nice hit there, Colby. Very nice hit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of what other commercials are, there are. I guess there's beer commercials? Yeah, there's beer commercials, right? I'm trying to think of any commercial I've seen. <laughs> Alright, well, we, we'll deactivate it, but we still have to deal with these swarms. That's someone's face! A volatile nanites... A swarm of volatile nanites darts about erratically, no doubt eager to do grievous bodily harm to anyone foolish enough to wander into their path. Slowly. I think... It looked like they moved a little bit. Alright, there's one of my biochips. Oh, they do move a little bit. Hacker. Run a relocate program on the swarm to disperse it through kit 3. Virus executes a relocate program to lead the swarm away on a wild goose chase, but after a few moments it is obvious the swarm is ignoring the signal. If I had my normal kit, that would have worked for sure. Well, moved anyway. That's good. Uh-oh.
Oh god. Oh, I don't have a choice. Oh, I have to walk into it. Here we go. Oh, actually, where's the... We're gonna lose some people. Where's the deactivation thing? The switch? Oh, there is no switch. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Fine. Fine. We've lost Bertha. Oh, we, or have we? Oh, no, we didn't. Wow, but she's almost dead. Okay, we're gonna abandon this mission. Ah, uh, I don't really want to, though, but she's taken... She's almost dead. We can use the two health kits on her, I suppose. Keep her up for this. Oh, uh, that was really bad. Okay, well, that was also my first time encountering them. Have I been here before? I have. Yeah, everyone's badly hurt. This is definitely going to be taunting to keep them off of... Virus and Bertha. Oh, they're taking so much damage. God, this is an easy mission. It's actually proving to be a bit, a bit tricky. Hit there. The internet sure has changed a lot of things, hasn't it? This is gonna sound a bit like get off my l lawn type of type of stuff, but well, it's amazing how helpful it's been for everything and how terrible I suppose all at once. It's certainly as handy where I work, being able to just go and look up information when you need it. Holy crap. Otherwise you have to spend hours consulting books to figure out why, like, programs haven't worked and whatnot. Instead, you just go online and figure out what, you know, hey, I'm getting this exception, what's happening? Or look up maybe a better way in, wh in which to write the, the bit of code that you've written. are strong enough to see us through these fights. And now we have enough experience to get most of us up a level when we end here. Junk. Uh, that armor's interesting. It's got the huge dodge chance. You'll take that, Virus. We can go down here. We should... Alright, what else is there? What else is there? Come on, there's gonna be other things. So, uh, I have a few other Kickstarters that, that I backed. So, some time ago, I have Underworld Ascension will be one. As you know, I was a huge fan of the Ultima Underworld series, so I'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna go with, with that new game. I liked... Let's see, I liked... I backed Halicron 6? Oh, hello! Where'd you guys come from? There must be an upper area. Halcon 6 reminds me a little bit of Faster Than Light with the graphics, the way it looks. It looks promising. It's, a, it's about repelling an enemy armada and building up your your station. And there was a platformer, like, what is it called? Slain, is what it was called, which looks to be a bit like... Oh, what was the game on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? Warlock, I think is what it was called? 
So I'm looking forward to giving those a try. I'm I'm such an addict when it comes to Kickstarter games. Holy crap! I'm sorry to, to Kickstarters, which which is to say that I really enjoy backing people's games on Indiegogo or Kickstarter and, and stuff like that. I love the ideas and see what people can can come up with and hoping that they succeed at it. It's, it's great. We're going, I guess, up this way. Oh, that's a good face for Chimera! That's awesome! And we need a dragon head, too. But that is fantastic. What a great piece of art for that company. No, this isn't what I'm... Oh, I'm here for this, but this is not the quest thing. Ooh, nice! Some blue armor! We'll definitely take that. And... 3%? This is not better than what you're currently wearing. Trimus will wear this one. Oh, actually, it's worse! But also... Oh, interesting. Okay. This armor will go on Bertha, and she'll probably keep this for a... Well, maybe not a while, right? Because the armor's going to go up to, like, 30 by the time we're level 5 for armor blocked. But the dodge chance on this armor will be extremely high, like 15% or something like that. Yeah, it'll be 50% dodge, uh, dodge with, looks like, one more point of armor on it. Which means that I'll be holding on this for a while, because that will be awesome for Virus later, when everyone else is wearing better armor. I'm robbing this place of all the coffee, and no wonder why Chimera is going to absolutely hate me. Well, this must have been pretty profitable. I'm glad I bought those... Oh, those health kits. That was my own fault. I thought that Nanite Swarm could only be deactivated by finding the deactivated... The, the switch that would turn them on. No, when you're watching this, you'll have to tell me if it's... if it's... I feel that 2 is missing, like, over 50% of his attacks. You'll have to tell me if if, you, if it seems if that's the case, or if it's just me being, like, prejudiced or something like that. Because I, I hate misses so much. <laughs> so much. But that's... that's Starcrawler's baby. I really should play that game. I keep meaning to, to do so. What, what is that? Uh, UFO. UFO Defense. I think, I think that, that's what it was, right? Not the new one, the the old one. Or rather, maybe the new old one? I have Xenonaut. Although I have never played it, but I do own it. Uh, Trimus, you can take this. Ah! Object must 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 be in this room. Let's stun the big guys. He hit him. Trimus will taunt all of them. Oh, wow, that stunned him right away, too. He didn't get a chance to use his damage increase on the little ones. Nice hit there. I guess you could theoretically keep a creature stun locked with the with that one virus software. Chimish's shields are down, but it should be okay. So you buffed him for just one attack, friend. Now you're going to be destroyed. Or we're going to keep missing with two. Hey, he'll still be destroyed. Two dismiss. That's all. That's all. Come on. Ooh, two might level up at the end of this. It's going to be a close call, though. It must 
be downstairs. Some more crystals. Yes! Perfect, all done. Now it looks like we only have one more area in this entire place. We might as well search it. This looks like it's going to be a room with robots in it. Yeah, sure, we could use the experience. Oop, only hit two of them. Should be paying attention and hitting the middle one. Ooh, good hit there. I guess I can't complain. But, although two misses, my other my other characters hit pretty often, which is, which is good. It's just two's here for DPS. He's here for DPS, so him missing is pretty big. Get through. We'll call it shields. No, I'm positive he's missing like 80% of his attacks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's not that I he's it's not that he's missing. It's that he's missing consistently, and I I shouldn't be as ticked. I, it's getting me annoyed. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it getting me so annoyed? What's your chance to hit? What is it? 84. Does the skill? Lower your chance to hit across the board? No. But you I think you've attacked five times and you missed four of those attacks. That's just bad. You should fire him and take someone else instead. Take a smuggler. You can hide from me, credit chips. Going the right way? No, we're definitely going the wrong way. This way, this way. We better get those back to Jin Biotech. We could keep it for ourselves, in which case we lose rep with both the people. But I like to clean the mission because we get the experience and the cash and the rep. I don't know if you get the experience for not finishing the mission. Oh, we didn't quite level two. But he'll level in the mission, so that would be fine. So let's go back to the store and vendor all of this nonsense, which is going to be basically my entire inventory. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of cash. And this is a shotgun. Each shot is going to do about 25 damage. Well, that's not too bad. We could try that out. Wow, that's an awesome... That's shields... Oh, not awesome, but it's not a bad shield. Better than what you're wearing, Bertha. You'll take that. There's nothing else worth taking, so... What are you currently wearing? A sh... Blah, blah, blah. Virus, what are you using? The blade... No, if I take this, his accuracy with his skill gets lowered to 62%. I don't like that, so no, we're not taking that. Bertha, you could take this, but then you won't act very often, and when I, I want you using bots, so that's a no on you. So, Trimus. Sure, we'll give it a shot. Or several shots, actually. Let's use the upgrade station now. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that a bit. And we're going to equip it. I'm going to hold on to the old pistol, just in case. Just in case. And this was better for who? Bertha? Oh wow, yeah, that was much, that's much better for her. This one can be sold for its entire th four bucks. And this armor, I want that improved. So I'm going to go to people, and then put her armor up here, and... 
all three upgrades. 9.9225 damage blocked. And the dodge chance... Her dodge chance should now be... 15%? Yeah, oh, 20%. Awesome. And... We can vendor her old shield. Okay! We gained some levels on some people. So, Bertha's gonna take a point in Junker. Two didn't level just as well. He's missing a whole lot. Trimus we get another point in Best Defense, so... It will... Best Defense will now do slightly more damage, which is still divided up equally amongst everyone. So, it, against three targets, for example, we're still doing not quite weapon damage, but generates a lot more threat. And Virus... What do I want to take with you? What's this? Strike and Shoot apply a stack of System Shock when they hit the target. When System Shock reaches 20 stacks, inflict 50% weapon damage, and the target is dazed if the is lost. So this is always in effect. I guess this is what he just naturally gets. Oh, this is an entire, basically, stun... stun timed. Um, hmm... This is, this is a stun which uh, can occur each round, but it's not guaranteed. This is a I need a stun right now ability. Let's try System Shock. I have no idea if this is gonna, what, what that's like. And before we go on our mission, we're going to pick up a few more med kits. Actually, we'll, we'll pick up three of them. Alright, let's finally see this mission. Any work available? And the black box is still... Uh, it's still orange, because most of us are level 2. If I do one more normal mission, we'll be definitely be ready for it next time, but we should gain a level while we're in there. For two. Uh, I'm a little nervous doing the mission because we don't have the health kits I would like to have. But, okay, we can save the game and try it. Let's do that. Alright, let's give this a shot. So, what's available for work? The black box. Aura Starliners wants intel on what's happened to the Stella Marin. Since you uncovered the coordinates, they'd like you to retrieve a black box from the nav bay located on deck 105. Locate and return it intact. The ship is on lockdown. No one allowed in or out under UFP Council ruling. So the mission is strictly dark ops. I accept. We're going in. Here we go. Welcome to the picturesque Stella Marin, I guess. This is deck 110. According to directions from Aurora, you want to head over to the Commercial Plaza and then an elevator ride down to 105 for the nearest nav chamber and a black box. Easy as pie. Sounds simple enough. Got two calls waiting for you from Horizon Robotics and Workers United. For a hush-hush mission, there's a lot of people up in our business. Typical. Likely two... Oh, typical. Likely two-bitch snitch on the takes been barring intel since the second we found that ship. Oh, what do they want? Both are proposing a quick job while you're already on board. Decent pay offered. So who'd you want to talk to first? Contact me to Workers United. Sure thing, patch me now. Luna's face is replaced by a dark screen. A voice that addresses you is nuanced and charismatic, like an old war world politician. Apparently, she's not big on hollow chat. Hello there, I represent Workers United. We're a civilian group focused on protecting the rights of individuals. Well, what can I do for Workers United? I have a proposal for you. I need the black box data you've been hired to obtain. We want the raw data, not whatever's left over after Corp PR finishes their hatchet job. Forward us a copy before handing it over, and we'll consider your debt paid. My debt? Why, yes, your debt. Your whole team stole medical supplies that were legally paid for by Bright Hall Colony, and you delivered them to Chimera. Were you aware that Chimera then resold them to the colony at five times the original price? Disgusting. I didn't steal any medical supplies for Chimera. 
the clipped tone of Medical United rep takes on the air of menace. Do not insult my intelligence and waste our time by playing dumb. You acted as a pawn for Chimera whether you were aware of the impact of your actions or not. Fortunately for you, this is an opportunity to make some form of amends. Oh, screw this person. How do you know about this? We have eyes everywhere. The common worker is oppressed by the corporate machines. You do well to remember that when considering who to steal from in the future. But I digress. Will you transmit the black box data to us to clear your debt? Think carefully before you respond. It's not going to happen. I'm under contract with another party. Deal's a deal. Keep in mind that you'd be doing a great service to the families of the missing colonists. Don't you think they deserve to know the truth? Maybe, but it's not my responsibility to give it to them. I'm sorry to hear of that. The offer still stands if you change your mind. With no conversation, the rep cuts off the call. Patching, your call, patching in your second call. Oh, look at this guy. He's awesome looking. The hull of this blade darkens momentarily and flickers back, revealing a flash-looking corp mouthpiece with an oily grin. You can almost taste the insincere wings about to be directed your way. Hey there, partner. My employer has a little favor to ask. Aurora is determined to get their hands on that black box. But the intel really ought to be going to Horizon first. As the unofficial UFP leader, we have a responsibility to make sure all evidence is handled properly. Hmm. Sounds like something you should take up with Aurora. Well now, sometimes it's easier to come at these things sideways rather than start the confrontation. All we need is a copy of the data, just to make sure it's not tampered with. You can still take the black box to Aurora afterwards, and they'll be none the wiser. Aurora said transmitting the data might cause corruption. Sounds like a scare tactic to me. Those black boxes are made to withstand just about anything. Send that data our way. You'll be 300 credits richer, and no one ever need know except the two of us. Forcing a, forcing a burst of data transmit could cause corruption, meaning we might not get paid by Aurora. You'll have to do better than 300. Horizon doesn't negotiate with the labor pool. You want to keep working, and you'll take what's offered. Think on that bit while you wander around. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. This mission cuts out abruptly as the rep disconnects the call. Seems like your services are in demand today. Here's hoping that works out to my advantage. Let's end the mission and worry about the pay after. Let's find that black box and get paid. Glad I had the hacker with me. Turns out that Aurora was telling the truth. I'm not interested in missing my paycheck from them, and if I'm not going to make a lot any more cash, I'd rather get the rep. This is a this is a new layout. I'm not familiar with this place, by the way. Oh wait, no, the, the graphic made it look like this was the big conference type of room. But I guess we'll see while we're here. A conference type of what is this? Level, graphic. Oh, this is creepy. The music is it's a shame. The music's not creepy. Can I put on some creepy music really quick for this? I could. One second, everyone. Hey, everyone. Uh, I just I don't have anything that really fits the mood, as it were. I could play my dungeon sounds I got from the Dark Raven Kickstarter a while ago, but it has like cricket sounds and zombies, and there's no door metallic door openings or anything like that. I'm not. Oh wow! Hello. Let's take a look at these really quick as well. I'm not. This is. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm I'm really distracted at the moment. This does. A crap ton more damage. Oh, but she's, using a, she's still using her pistol. Trimus is using the shotgun. This is a two-shot shotgun. Huge crit chance. Holy crap. But the, oh, the odds of hitting are so low, and I don't like the TU cost on her. I don't like the accuracy penalty on Virus. No, I'm going to keep what I've currently got. This pistol is faster and does more damage. I want him to have a slow and high damage weapon, so he's going to keep what he's currently got. So, Bertha, you'll have a better pistol. And this is better for you. 